Welcome to the Eco Techie. In my previous video, I gave you a brief introduction and explanation about ID3, that is Iterative Dichotomizer 3 or Decision Tree Algorithm. In today's video, we are going to look at a modified version of ID3 which goes by the name C4.5. And like ID3, even C4.5 is given by Ross Quinlan. Now, without further ado, let's get into understanding how C4.5 and ID3 are different from each other. So, Decision Tree C4.5 was developed by Ross Quinlan. So, Ross Quinlan only developed ID3 and he only developed C4.5. Next, it's an extension of ID3 and mainly this is used for classification. So, we have something known as CART which is a type of decision tree which is used for classification and regression. But C4.5 is mainly used for classification and hence it is known as a statistical classifier. Now, we we'll look at the process of C4.5 and see how C4.5 is different from ID3. So, the first step is we already have a data set that is the training data set S which is classified. Next one is for each attribute X, find the normalized information gain from splitting on X. So here is the difference between ID3 and C4.5. In ID3, we were splitting on entropy or information gain. But over here, we are going to split according to the normalized information gain. Now this has a lot of benefits because whenever we have many attributes which are measured in different units, for example, the blood pressure. Blood pressure is measured in different units. Your sugar levels are measured in different units. Your heartbeats are measured in different units. Now, if we want to come up with a classifier which will identify whether a person has coronary heart disease or not or any disorder for that instance, it will become very difficult if we use ID3 because everything is in a different unit. But in case of C4.5, you are directly normal using normalized information gain. Now, the third step is similar to the ID3. You will select the best attribute with highest normalized information gain. So basically in ID3, you used to select one which has the highest information gain. Here, we are going to select one which has highest normalized information gain and at last we will create a decision node now this process will go on till a certain point there are several ways when this process will stop the process will stop when you have correctly classified everything into one particular class so this was the entire process of c4.5 now if C4.5 has come into place, it would have something much better than ID3. So now let's see the improvements which have taken place in C4.5. So how is C4.5 better than ID3? So it easily handles continuous data. So the best part about C4.5 is that it can handle discrete as well as continuous data. So, in case of continuous data, what it does it, it creates a threshold and from that threshold, it measures different variables and then it assigns a particular value to those variables. In this way, it handles the continuous data. Then, it is an appropriate attribute selection. So, over here, it uses normalized information gain to come up with the attribute which has the highest normalized information gain. It is easy to handle missing values. Now, handling missing values is a difficult and a different ball game altogether, but C4.5 makes your life easy. So, if you have missing values, it will replace it by question marks. And what it does it, it will not bother about the missing values. It will calculate the normalized information gain without bothering much about missing values. Next, it improves computational efficiency. So, your computational efficiency improves like anything. Your time efficiency also improves. And 
you have handling attributes with differing costs like i said with the example of blood pressure heartbeat and sugar levels these are all measured in different different units now when we are using normalized information gain you do not have to worry about the different units and finally pruning trees on creation i had explained the difference between stopping a tree and pruning a tree so here in c4.5 first it will create the entire tree and then it will cut out those branches which are not having any normalized information gain so basically it does things in a very systematic and nice manner so this way c4.5 is better than id3 i hope the idea of c4.5 is clear for one and on how c4.5 is different from id3 is also clear if you have any queries please feel free to post it in the comment section below do like share and subscribe to the ecotechy thank you for watching